I'm Dana. I'm Kevin. I'm Nav. And I'm Ashley. We'd like to welcome you to Folsom Lake College's orientation. This short video will provide you with information about academic programs and services, financial aid, using e-services, balancing student life, and choosing and enrolling in your first semester classes. Before we begin, it's important to know that there's a lot to understand and do in college. And although we will be giving you essential information, you may still have questions. Great news, everyone. The best part about videos is you can watch them as many times as you like. So hopefully that answers your questions. If it doesn't, at the end of the video, you'll see various links to various services here on campus that will help you with any questions you may have. This orientation is a part of what is called the matriculation process for new students. Completing matriculation early means that you will be able to register for classes sooner. To be a matriculated student, you must complete the application to Folsom Lake College. Take your English and math assessments, view this orientation, and complete the quiz that follows. And most importantly, all new students must meet with a counselor to answer any questions you may have. If you have not done so yet, you will want to complete your math and English assessments in order to take full advantage of the course selection portion of this orientation. FLC has numerous degrees and certificate programs for you to choose from. All of them provide you with the knowledge and training needed to enter the workforce, update your current skills, and provide a solid foundation for transfer. You can earn an associate's degree by completing 60 total units made up from classes in the major departments and what we call general education classes. The associate's degree allows you to enter the workforce with a degree in hand, making you more marketable to employers. Certificates consist of specific classes that give you focused information and training. Many students completing certificates are already employed in a career field and want to upgrade their skills or gain specific training or want to enter the workforce quickly and need specific training in order to do so. General education is made up of classes that are required to reach your degree and transfer goals. These classes are taken from a wide range of disciplines and provide all students with a broad understanding of many subjects. If you are focused on getting to the university, you've come to the right place. 60% of FLC students are working on their general education so that they can transfer to a UC, CSU, or private university. Transferable GEs from FLC meet lower division requirements for a bachelor's degree at a university. So once you transfer, you will be mainly working on classes specific to your major. One of the first things you should do to get ready for your first semester is to take your assessments in English and math. Looking at these, the specific courses you scored into are at the bottom of the page. For math, it could be 20, 30, 100, 120, or GE level. For English, you will see either English writing 41, 51, 101, or 300. Many students at FLC have to take more than one math and English class. Your course placement will determine how many math and English classes you will need to graduate or transfer. If you have not taken the assessments yet, you can see the schedules on the FLC website and clicking on the Student Services tab. Choosing what classes to take in your first semester can be challenging, but being able to decide what you want to take from the many classes offered is one of the great things about college. This orientation will show you how to put together your first semester schedule. You should plan on meeting with an FLC academic counselor to ensure that you are enrolling in the right classes to reach your goals. It would be beneficial for you to have your assessment scores in front of you, as well as a copy of the associate's degree general requirements the Intersegmental General Education Transfer Curriculum, or IGETC, and the CSU General Education Breadth Requirements Forms in order to understand how to select classes. These can be viewed and printed by going to the FLC website and clicking on Student Services. Then select the Counseling link, followed by the Transfer link, then General Education Patterns. The three forms are listed at the top of the page. As you begin your college career, it's important to ask yourself a couple of questions right from the start. What is your educational goal? Is it to get your associate's degree? Is it to transfer to a university? Are you going to be a full-time student taking four to five classes or a part-time student taking one to three classes? 
How you answer these questions will make a difference in the classes you choose for your first semester. It is advised that you enroll in your required math and English classes early on so that you have enough time to complete all of the requirements in those subjects. We have already covered how to read your assessment results, so take another look at them and determine which math and English courses you placed in. These are the first math and English classes you will be allowed to enroll in. If you decided that you are going to attend FLC part-time, these two courses may be all you will want to enroll in for the upcoming semester. But if you are intending to be a full-time student, you will be selecting two to three more classes. If your primary focus is earning your associate's degree, the additional classes should be selected from the associate's degree graduation requirements sheet. This form lists classes in specific areas that must be met for graduation. If you are focused on transferring, your additional classes should be chosen from either the IGETC or CSU patterns. Courses on these forms are designed to meet transfer and graduation requirements at the UC and CSU. Recommendations include Human Career Development 310, Psychology 300, Sociology 300, Theater Arts 300, Communications Media 305, Geology 300, Geography 300, Anthropology 300 or 310, or Humanities 300. Let's consider an example. Let's say that you are planning to attend Folsom Lake College full-time with the goal of transferring to CSU Sacramento. Looking at your assessment results, let's say you placed in English Writing 101 and Math 100. These two courses should be considered for your first semester. Since you want to be a full-time student, you will be looking for two more classes. You should select these courses from the CSU GE pattern. And for this example, you choose Psychology 300 in Area D and Theater Arts 300 in Area C1. This class combination totals to 14 units, making you a full-time student. In addition, you are working on the completion of your English and math requirements and taking two classes from the general education pattern for CSU transfer. You should always read the course descriptions for each class you are considering in order to determine if it is right for you. In the description, be sure to look for prerequisites, which are requirements that must be completed before you take the course. These can be found in the college catalog and online using the FLC webpage. Your next step is to look for days and times that these classes are being offered. You can see what courses are being offered for the upcoming semester by visiting the FLC website and click on the class schedules link. Select the term for which you are enrolling, click on the Folsom Lake College link, then select the class subject you are interested in. Times, locations, and course descriptions can then be viewed. Each semester you will be assigned a specific date and time when you will be allowed to register for classes. Because classes fill fast, it is important that you register as soon as you can. Enrolling in classes takes place using eServices, which can be found on the FLC website. eServices is the online environment at FLC that gives you a wealth of information whenever you need it. By going to Folsom Lake College website and clicking on the eServices link, you will be taken to the login page. Enter your student ID number and password. Here you have gained access to eServices. Here you can search for open classes, register for classes, view your grades, get an unofficial transcript, make a payment and buy parking permits, update your email and mailing address, view your class schedule, and complete your supplement enrollment form. There are excellent tutorial videos and written steps available on the eServices page. To access this, you can go to the FLC website, click on eServices, then the eServices help link. Click on FAQ, then on the title, Academics, How Do I? You will see a variety of tutorial links and videos to choose from. Watching these will give you all the information you need to enroll in classes. Keep the following in mind. Pay close attention to the location of the classes you want to enroll in as Folsom Lake College has three campuses. Our main campus in Folsom, our El Dorado Center in Placerville, and our Rancho Cordova Center in Rancho Cordova. Knowing where the class is held before you register will save you from unwanted commuting time once the semester begins. Because classes fill fast, you should have a backup plan ready in case the classes you want are closed. Having a backup plan will increase your chances of getting the classes you need. Stay as flexible as possible when scheduling class days and times. 
This will give you more opportunity to find open classes and enroll. Not sure what direction you are heading? Our counselors are here to assist you in making those all important major and career decisions. Counseling appointments book pretty fast and it's a good idea not to wait too long. To book an appointment, you can stop by the counseling counter in Aspen Hall or visit the FLC webpage for more contact information. The FLC website is a great source for college information, from hours of operation, to library resources, to phone numbers and emails. Make the FLC website one of your favorites and visit often. It's also a great place to get information about campus events such as workshops, lectures, and recreational activities. As an FLC student, you are also given a free email account called iMail. This is an important feature because all college email correspondence will be done through your iMail account and your instructors will use it to communicate with you. To make it even easier, you can set up your iMail account to automatically forward all messages to your personal email account. Financial aid can ease the cost of attending school through a variety of financial assistance programs. The Board of Governors fee waiver will waive semester tuition for qualified students, while filling out the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, can screen you for Cal Grants, Pell Grants, and student loans. The Financial Aid Office also provides federal work-study opportunities, as well as scholarship information. It is important to process your financial aid paperwork before enrolling in classes, but it's not too late to apply for financial aid. Contact the Financial Aid Office for more information. FLC offers a variety of student services. You are encouraged to get involved with our campus programs and to take advantage of the services offered to you throughout your time at FLC. For more information about our student services, visit the FLC website. You should also make a point to pick up your student access card. This card will serve as your official college photo ID card, your college library card, and your Go Print card, which allows you to print from any of the college's computer lab printers. You can load money onto the card using campus kiosks and simply swipe the card when you are ready to print. In addition, the student access card also gives you discounts at select local businesses and allows you to ride public transit bus and light rail systems. A student's life can be a busy one, and it's not easy to find time to do everything you need or want to do in a day, from classes to work to personal and family responsibilities. How well you manage your time will determine how well you do in college. As you put together your semester schedule, keep in mind the various roles you play and responsibilities you have to fulfill. Remember, for every unit that you are enrolled in, you can assume that you will be spending around two hours a week on homework, reading, and class projects. That's an equivalent of 24 hours a week of work outside of class if you are a full-time student taking 12 units. Being a college student is demanding and skills like time management, setting goals, and prioritizing are important for you to succeed. No orientation can cover everything there is to know about college. There may be some questions that you still have and others that will come to you later. Take the initiative to find those answers. Use the links provided in this video, visit the FLC website to get specific department information, such as phone numbers, ask faculty or staff on campus, or even fellow students. Taking responsibility for your education will make your time here worthwhile and beneficial. We're glad you've chosen FLC, and we look forward to seeing you around campus. Welcome, Welcome to Folsom Lake College! College.